In this video, I am going to brief you on when an individual should be taken to the hospital uh, when they are experiencing COVID-19 symptoms, uh, as well as what precautions should be taken when we are transporting someone um, who has or is suspected to have COVID-19 uh, to the hospital. I think for me, what determines that someone really needs to go to the hospital uh, is when he or she develops shortness of breath. Now this could occur with activity. This could also be um, at rest. Uh, additionally, if someone develops chest pain or chest pressure, uh, that would be a very concerning symptom. If someone uh, is confused or altered, um, that would as well be very, very concerning. If someone develops a rapid respiratory rate or if they have an oxygen level less than 90%, that would also be someone who might need to be transported and, and certainly evaluated uh, in the hospital. Um, once the caregiver decides uh, that the patient um, needs to be uh, seen in the hospital for further evaluation, uh, he or she really needs to take a number of steps to help minimize disease spread. So uh, if the patient is awake and alert and will be taken by private vehicle, um, in other words, they have stable vital signs and, and they look okay, um, the caregiver should really ensure that that patient uh, wear a mask during transport. Um, the caregiver um, should themselves wear uh, a mask, uh, likely a face shield or goggles to protect their eyes, as well as some form of protective gown and uh, gloves. Now, the caregiver alone should drive the patient to the hospital. Uh, this will help minimize spread to other family members. Please avoid public transportation. Drive the patient to the hospital in a personal vehicle. Uh, it will be important to wipe down the vehicle with a disinfecting solution, a dilute, diluted bleach solution um, after transport will really help to clean any possible contaminated surfaces. If the patient is in fact showing emergency warning signs, difficulty breathing, bluish discoloration around their lips or face, pain in their chest, pressure in their chest, they're confused, they're altered, they're unconscious, any of these situations would really mandate that an ambulance be called to take the patient to the hospital. Now, ideally the caregiver and patient may have prepared a hospital go bag to grab on the way out the door. Um, be sure to also bring the medical records and documentation that you have been compiling during the recent uh, number of days of illness. <music>